Hi guys! So welcome to another vlog na hindi nyo naman hiningi. <laughs> yung talaga yung info ko. Anyways, uh, so... Basta. Anyways, uh, the goal of this uh, video, uh, this time is more on the lesson flow. Siguro routine na din. More on the lesson flow routine and how to make a lesson memo. Okay, so first of all, things that you need to check is kung may bagyo ba, kung magkakaroon ng power interruption. So please like, subscribe to the pages you need to subscribe to. So PLDT, Smart, Gomo, uh, Converge, or kung ano man ang internet provider ninyo. Uh, you also need your backups. Siguro next time na natin pag-usapan yun. And then, uh, also your tawag dito, uh, Meralco, Telco, or di ko alam yung sa ibang lugar, no? pero for the electricity. Okay? Para alam ninyo if magkakaroon ng uh, interruption so that you can self-tag agad-agad. Kagaya ng ginawa ko dito. Uh, what else? So, always check the speed. And then, remember, 30 minutes before your first lesson, meron dapat lalabas dito na start button. Okay? So, that start button, iba parang sabi, eh, wala namang silbi yan. Hindi, hindi nagana. Anyway, sabi sa inyo, i-click ninyo. So, i-click ninyo. Okay? Dati, I think there was a consequence. Ngayon, uh, lumuag-luag na on this start button. Okay? Uh, if nalimutan, pero nakapag-class naman kayo, well, thank God, wala nangyaring kahit ano. Pero uh, the system detects kasi na ay itong taong to ay hindi nag-start. Ibig sabihin, this person is not present. So, automatically, isasab kayo ng system kahit 30 minutes or 1 minute pa lang kayong late. Yan. So, if nag-start kayo or nagsabi kayo na present kayo, na-attend kayo sa classes ninyo, hindi may konti pa yung time. No? So, it would still give 2 or 3 minutes para malate sa klase. Pero okay yung maging late. Okay? So, check the start button. And then, I also check ilan ba ang book, sino nag-book, sinong aabsenan ko. Charot. Okay, yan. So, later I have these classes. Uh, what others do, I don't do this anymore. Medyo familiar na ako with most of the lessons. Okay, so, I click the name. Ko lang to. I click the name of the student. And then, yan, I would click the textbook link. Para I would know kung ano yung lesson, ano yung kailangan kong i-prepare na teaching aids whatsoever. And this previous lesson memos should also help us in knowing anong classing student ba to, mabait ba to, matalino, advanced for his level whatsoever. Okay? Yan. So, once I know this already, uh, I could log in. Ayan, nakita niyo ng pangalan ko. Facial recognition tayo. Cancel ko muna. Ayan. So, what do you call this one? Nawala na kasi dito sa side yung tawag dito. Download material. So, I don't really know what happened. So, there might be a glitch update or whatsoever. Uh, yan yun lang. It's normal for all softwares or apps na may update, may nawawala, nagkaka-glitch, nagkaka-bug. So, I've taught you the alternative. Dito na lang sa my page ko kunin yung lesson. Or if you want, enter classroom kayo. Sige na, FR ako. Hmm. Okay, anyways. Okay, dyan na nga yan. Okay, wala nang mangyayaring masama if I enter the classroom to check the lesson. Okay, I entered way ahead of time. This is still for later mga 20 hours pa or something. Okay lang, wala nang mangyayaring masama. Uh, this is not yet recorded because it's still too early. What's being recorded is 5 minutes before the time and 5 minutes after the time. Kung lumabis pa kayo, it would still be recorded. Okay, so anyways, 
Uh, you can preview it here. Okay. So this is the H5 lesson material. Big J, small J.
So as for the lesson memo, again, you can do this while having class kung carry mo. Kung hindi, edi eh, don't. Okay, pero mas maganda kung gawin mo na agad para wala ka na maiiwan, di ka malalit. Kasi alam naman natin, if we are late for lesson memos, may penalty. Okay. Uh, we have three parts. Una yung pronunciation. Now, let's say for example, si student ay sobrang talino, uh, very articulate. Okay, no pronunciation errors. E di, pwede mong checkan lahat yan. Okay. If no pronunciation errors, di checkan mo lahat. Because it does not say na pronunciation that's wrong naman eh. It says pronunciation to the view. Okay. Let's say for example, si student may na mispronounce na word. Wala naman dito. What you can do is go to, to phonetics or to any online dictionary like Merayam, Cambridge, Dictionary.com, Longman. Yan. Uh, me, I'm using to phonetics. Make sure that you're using the American, ha? Kasi the American is the closest accent to the neutral accent. Yan. So, kunyari, the word is... Ba't ko naisip to? Sorry, ha? Ito, nauna ko naisip. Transfiguration. <laughs> kunyari lang. Okay, wala naman dito. Wala, sala yata. Huwag na nga to. <laughs> Transfer na lang. Yan. There are some dictionaries na wala yung... IPA doon. So, lipat kasi ibang dictionary. And transfer. Copy-paste mo lang siya. And paste dito. It doesn't have to have the Chinese character. Okay? Ang mahalaga is yung word, then the IPA symbol. Okay? Si student, parot. E di, kung anong na mispronounce niya, okay lang. But please do not put none. Okay? Wala mga error si student, it just asks for pronunciation to review. Okay, kahit pa perfect na perfect si student, review pa din. No? Same thing with the grammar or syntax. Hindi po pwedeng guided in class, no error, NA. Okay, kahit pa sabihin natin magaling si student. Okay, during the class, you should adjust. Dapat hindi siya super dali for the student. So, dapat pahirapan natin ng very, very light. Okay, so, kunyari, wala talagang error si student. Okay? Kasi, advanced. Uh, during the lesson, i-adjust mo or teach a new sentence pattern related to the lesson or magbigay ka ng pang Miss Universe na tanong. Kunyari, uh, yung tanong mo ay, when is it okay not to be okay? Ganyan. Uh, lalo na pagka-adult students. So, dito, magbigay ka ng sample answers. Suggested answers, no? Ikaw nang bahala maglagay dyan. Pagka naman parot, syempre, wala nang grammar error yun. Kasi wala naman talaga siyang alam sa grammar. What you can do is put practice or suggestions. Kunyari, practice. This is a cow. This is a cat. Yan. Give them something to practice. Anong ilalagay natin? Pagkaparot, edi yung kung ano yun nasa lesson. Okay, let me use this as an example. Okay, kunyari. Okay, let's say for example, this is the lesson. This is the sentence. I have four bananas. Edi, ito nalagay mo. Okay, that's fine. Yan. Uh, yan lang. Uh, pwedeng yung entire dialogue. How many bananas do you have? I have four bananas. Okay? Uh, for example, as well, itong student ko ang sagot, he wears scary costumes. So, I gave a suggestion he can wear scary costumes and play trick or treat. Sometimes the student's answers are okay. Tama naman. But it can be improved. So, you can put the improved version as well. Ah, yeah. So, that's it for grammar. Again, please don't put NA. None. Guided in class. Okay. 
if you guided the student in class, what did you guide the student? Okay. Last one would be the assessment. Ito pong letters dito is not their behavior. Okay, alam ko marami sa atin nang gigigil sa student. May student na matalino, nakakasagot, pero ano yun, may kung ano nung ginagawa. Siguro nagro-roblox, naglalaro, pero nakakasagot naman. You don't give them a B. Okay, again, this is not behavior. Meron ditong description. No? Okay. So, whatever the student can do. Ayan. So... Ito naman, meron dito ang general evaluation, change, change nyo na lang, whatever is applicable. Baka naman, pin random lang, ng favorite number ko, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Huwag naman. Okay. Uh, what can the student do? Kunyari, uh, great job, Ana. Ano bang kaya ang gawin ni Ana? You can answer the teacher's questions. You participated well in class. You know. So, magbigay kang dalawang positive. No? I don't know if you're familiar with the sandwich method or napanggit ng other trainers yun. Sandwich method, positive muna. No? Tapos, git na yung not really negative, but areas for improvement. Yung suggestion. And, yeah, areas for improvement. So, pwede yung dito mo ilagay. Pwede dito. Bahala kayo. You can put something like, okay. So, nasabi natin what the student can do. Okay. So, ang problem ni Anna dito is, sala ang grammar. Tingnan nyo naman. Sam's watch is stopped. He wears scary costumes. So, sala ang grammar. Huwag naman natin sabihin, your grammar is not good. Uh, you can say, you need to practice more on grammar. Yeah, you just need to practice more on grammar. Diba ang ganda pang gan? Ang ganda mga etos dito. And then, give a suggestion. Yan. Paano may improve yung grammar? So, please go through the new words in grammar you've learned in this lesson. Yan. Tapos. Uh, this listening one is not listening like behavioral listening na ay hindi nakikinig. Weakness ay listening. Itong listening na to is kung uh, na na ano ba to? How do I explain this? Yung naririnig kanya ng tama. Wait lang. For example, I said kunyari no, ball and doll. Basa kanya, ang naririnig niya is pareho. Ball and ball. Okay. So, dapat ma-distinguish niya na it's ball and the doll. So, it's more on the phonics. It's not the listening na nakinig. Okay. Listening skills uh, when it comes to the sounds of the letters. Yun. Okay. Uh, pronunciation, ano naman natin yun? Grammar and then vocabulary. Fluency. Siyempre, di naman to weakness ng level 0. Eh, siguro hindi na weakness ng level 1, level 2. Kasi wala pang fluency in level 0. Ang skills lang ng level 0 is vocabulary, pronunciation, and listening. Okay? Wala pa silang concept ng grammar. So, hindi pwedeng grammar ang problem nila. Hindi pwedeng fluency ang problem nila. It's not yet unlocked. So, vocabulary muna kung marami silang alam na words. Kung halos wala, edi ito ang weakness nila. Kung halimbawa yung student may alam na words pero sala-sala ang pronunciation, edi pronunciation. Kung sala ang rinig, sala ang kopya sa sounds, edi listening. Yun. And just in case there's a behavioral problem with a kid, uh, we don't confront them here that your, your child is rude, your child is... I just say, dear parents, try to monitor, yan, try to assist, and motivate the child during the class. No? Yan. So, yun lang. And then, make sure to submit. I will not submit this one kasi tapos ko na to eh. Yan. Mm. Uh, did I miss anything? Wala. Okay. So, anyways, it appears here naman eh. Ayun pa pala. So, you might also notice, no, there's this thing for contract renewal message to IS. 
So, uh, IS is the internal sales. Kung gusto mo lang sabihan ang IS na pwede pa sila mag-renew ng contract kasi konti na lang yung lessons nila, konti na lang yung load nila. Okay. So, pwede nyo sabihan na uh, this child uh, needs more classes. And this is also optional naman. Okay. What else? Um, ayun. Dito pala sa side, okay, you can see the tell reminder. Uh, you can only click the tell reminder five minutes into the lesson. So, mula zero, zero, zero until zero, five, zero, zero. Si student wala pa. So, please click tell reminder within five minutes para makol si student. And just in case na wala, wala ba ako dito? Lahat meron. Well, just in case na wala yung tell reminder button, edi hihayaan nyo. Ibig sabihin, the system will automatically send it. Okay, yun lang. Uh, if you have more questions, just type it down in the comment section below or bahala kayo. Kasi wag, wag pala PM kasi natatabunan. Nagpupunta na sa spam yung mga messages sa akin because of my other students, other full-time job. Okay? So that's it and uh, happy teaching.